This is Frank Ilo from Afri Design Studios. In this very video, we shall be looking at how to create the ramp on your project. How to add the ramp on your design. Right on the screen, you can see a typical example of a ramp. This is to show you what we would be doing or what we should be able to do by the end of this video. Having said that, let us move right on to Revit. So I click on Revit. We are right here on Revit. Let me go on, let me go on to the default 3D view. This is the default 3D view. Let me rotate this again. So when I rotate this, you are going to see the likely places we may place our ramp. The places that we are likely to place our ramp. Right, like right here, we have a step already. We have a step here already. There is no available place for us to place the ramp for that reason we are going to delete one of these steps and i would go with this so i click on this and delete it so i can create my ramp here so when i've done this we are still on 3d view but when you want to create your ramp you should be at a floor level or a floor view in this case, we shall be going direct to our natural ground floor or natural ground level. So I go to my project browser, then go to, I scroll up to my level one, natural ground level, and double click on it. Once I do that, I'm going to be right on the natural ground level view. So here is where I am proposing to place my ramp. So, without much ado, what I'm going to do now is to start placing the ramp. But before I start placing the ramp, I would like to let you know that there are two major ways you can place your ramp. One is faster and easier, but more disadvantaged while the other is of more advantage so the first method which is more disadvantaged is using the sweep why do i say it is more disadvantaged because when you use the, the sweep you cannot automatically place the railing when you use the sweep method you cannot automatically place the railing Unlike when you use the right method, which is going through the circulation and onto this place where you can see around here, this is the authentic and more, um, how do I put it now, more acceptable way of putting, uh, placing your ramp. Having said this, can we just move on to the first method? To use the first method, which is sweep, you go to components, click here and select model in place then come here and select okay okay the next thing you do is to go to sweep and select sweep after selecting sweep you now go to sketch parts after that you now come and sketch a unique part where your ramp is going to run on so i click here if you look at the dimension you will see 1350 that is going to be the width of my ramp so you can see where it is starting from and you can see where it's ending it's ending here that's the pink line then i click here once i do that i come here to click finish finish edit mode then i go here and select edit profile after selecting that, it's going to bring these three options for me. Talking about where I am going to 
position myself in order to sketch the ramp so i can either stand on east or stand on my west or stand at the section but i would pick the west because there is no obstruction on that axis so i click open view so this is my west and you can see this red dot this should be your starting point or your starting point should always be in alignment with this red pink. If you go out of alignment with this red point, your what is it called again? Your sketch, your sketch would not be accepted. So what I'm going to do is this: I click on this and get the height. Sorry, I go to line. I click on this and go to the top to get the height of my ramp the height of my ramp should be the same with the height of my ground floor level and that is supposed to be 600 millimeters so once i'm once i've positioned it there i will just type 600 and press enter then press escape once then i come down here and click and go to my right going to my left will be the wrong thing, the ramp will now enter into the building, so I have to go to my right. Then I should be able to know beforehand what the length of my ramp is or what it should be. In this case, I want it to be 3000 millimeters. Why? Because if the length of the ramp is long enough, the slope of the ramp will be gentle. But if the length or the span is very short, it means the ramp would be sharp or steep. So I'm going to type 3000 and press enter. Then I now connect this to this place, forming a triangle. Forming a triangle. You can see this triangle now represents the ramp. Okay. Then I'm going to hit finish edit mode. Then I'm going to hit it again. At this time, it's going to request from me to add the material. What material am I going to be using on this? So I would go to material here. Then I click on by category. Then click on this radio icon here. This radio icon. It is going to bring out the material library for me. So once he has brought it out, you can see already... I have saved some materials here, like tiles, but I wouldn't want my ramp to be tiles. It is not ideal using tiles on a ramp. So I would want to use concrete. So I scroll down to concrete. Concrete. Okay, here I have concrete. Okay. I would want to use concrete here. So I'm going to use any one of them, not minding what it looks like. So let me use... Let me use this. Okay. Concrete. Then I click OK. Then I click here. Finish model. That is it. If you look at it from the default 3D view, you are going to see something like this. You can see the gentleman here has been eaten up by the ramp. So I'm going to hide this man this is not ideal so i'm going to hide it okay this is our ramp we have been able to create our ramp using the first method but i'm going to delete this so we can use the second method now so i delete let's use the second method to use the second method, we also have to go to natural ground level again. When we go there, like I told you, we would go to architecture. From architecture, we move to ramp under circulation. Click on ramp. Once you click on ramp, the next thing you should do is to come here. This is the name of the ramp, ramp 1. So I would click edit type but before i click edit type i must have 
ascertained the base level, that is the starting point of the ramp and the top level where it is going to stop. It is going to st start from my natural ground level and stop at my ground floor level, that is 600 in height. Having um, taken note of this, the next thing I have to do is to come to this edit type, click here, because I have to edit some things. I have to edit some things, okay? So what I'm going to do now is this, I would, or well, before I go here, sorry, let me click here. There's something I need to show you. Once you have determined the base level and the top level, scroll down and come to width, okay, dimension. Under width, select 1,350 millimeters because that is the width of this place. From here, you can see my cursor right now. From here to here, like we did in the first method, is 1,350. Let's go there. Let's dimension this. You can see it. So this is going to be the width. That is the width. So the next thing we do is to come down here and make sure we make, make this to be 1,350. Once we have done that, then we'll now go to edit type. When we go to edit type, we are going to duplicate this so that the original um, ramp will still remain there. So click and come here. You can name this ramp 2. Then click OK. Once you have done this, the next thing you have to do, very, very important, is come here. Okay. When you come here, the maximum inclined length. Like I told you, the first method we used, the length was 3,000 millimeters. So what is referring to here is the length of your ramp. So type 3,000. Whatsoever you want to make your own length should be what you type here. It mustn't be 3,000. So it is up to you. But take note that if it is short, you have, your ramp is going to be sharp or steep. So make it as long as possible. Then ramp maximum slope. What this means is this. What I normally do in my own um, designs is this 3,000, which is the length of the ramp, I would always divide it with the height of the ramp. In this case, the height of the ramp is 600 millimeters. Then I'm going to divide 3,000 by 600 millimeters. What should that give us? I think that should be about 2.5. I don't know if I'm right. 2.5. Let me do some quick calculation here. 3,000 divided by 600. That should be 2.5. I think I'm okay. That's that's five. Okay, that's five. Sorry. About it. So five. I put five here. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to hit OK. But before I hit OK, I'm going to apply a material to the ramp, just like we did in the first method. So I'm going to click in this bar, click on this radio um, button. Then I'm, I'm going to come down again to concrete and select concrete again. When I select concrete, I'm going to hit OK. So it has been uh, displayed. So I have to click OK again here. Then I come here and click apply. Once I click apply, then, then the next thing I have to do is to start drawing what's happening here. What is happening? Let me click on run again. Okay. So when you, once you are done with all this, you come here, click on run. Once you click on run, do not be in a hurry to place it here first. You can place it anywhere in front here. Just click somewhere here. Click somewhere here. And move it to this direction. You can see it going this way. With some letters or some words. You can see, if you can go close to it, it says, Zero of inclined ramp created. 3,000 remain. So, but never mind. Just rotate it towards your building and click in front of the um, square click here once you have done this it's going to show you something again 3000 of inclined ramp created zero remain, which means it is okay then come here and click finish edit mode 
it is already created. What you're going to do now is this. Just come to this place as it is already highlighted. Just go to move, click on move, and come here and pick this point and drag it to this point. Is this supposed to be okay, here? It should be here. So click here. Yeah. So once you click there, you can now click outside or you can click modify to end the command. So what we're going to do now is to go to default trigger view. Click on default trigger view. You can see the ramp. The ramp is already created, but with with what? With the railing. With the railing. The first one we did that did not come with railing, but this one came with railing. But there's something again I want to also show you. If you look at this ramp, there is there is a gap beneath it. It has a hollow underneath. This shouldn't be. Most of the ramp we use, like the one we have here, you can see we need this kind of ramp that is covered. There is no hole under it. So what do you do in that case? When you have a ramp that is like this, can we go through? Let's go to West Elevation so we can see it very well. Go to West Elevation. You can see it. The ramp has a hole under is like a slab this is like a slab but well, this is not what we want we want it to be thick and covered so what we do let's go back again to default 3d view what we're going to do now is this click back on the ramp click on the on it at the tip here then go back to edit type click on edit type then come here you can see this here you have construction and under it you have shape on this chip, go just follow this column to this bar. You see tick. Click inside this bar and click on this arrow. Then we have tick and we have solid. Click on solid. Once you click on solid, click OK. And that is it. Click modify or press escape twice. And you see there is no more space or there's no more tab in uh, at the at the bottom. So this is how to create your railing. Thank you once again for watching this video and thank you for subscribing and also recommending this video, this channel, sorry, to your friends. We make wonderful videos like this on daily basis. Once again, thank you for your time and bye.